Good morning, Berlin. Um, today I want to talk about why we at BMW or BMW, how we pronounce that in German, are using Zool uh, for driving our continuous integration of our future automotive projects. So first of all, I want to outline a bit of the history in automotive software development so we can see where we're coming from and where we're heading to. So in the beginning, there were all, only a few small uh, electronic control units in the car uh, that ca contained small portions of software. And still, while, while these were small, they still had uh, to fulfill high safety requirements. So what is extremely important is automatic testing in the software development process, also back in that time. Um, while these projects were still small, also small CI systems were sufficient. So a typical setup, for example, would be uh, Jenkins with a few build slaves. So later, the existing features evolved, and many new complex features uh, were introduced. And uh, then out, uh, so software became an enabler in, uh, for new uh, features like, for example, um, advanced driver assistance uh, features, and thus also the code sizes and the complexity of the software increased. Also, this means that the number of the ECUs in the car increased also, and with that, we had a higher demand on uh, continuous integration systems, so we, had, we grew more uh, CI systems, uh, and still, the typical setup for that was a Jenkins setup with a number of build slaves depending on the size of the project. So the software that is running now in the car is even more complex. So software now is everywhere in the car, ra uh, ranging from the window lifters up to the co most complex infotainment systems. Uh, and that means that we have much more com code and much higher complexity of the software to handle. Further, uh, this also needs to, uh, that we have many internal and external teams developing the software, and this is going to be a, uh, this is a challenge uh, to also to organize and, and drive the development process. So what is crucial for this is um, that we not just need automated testing for ensuring the software quality, but also we need uh, automation for running the software development process itself, for, for example, creating and delivering releases. And so also the, uh, the requirements for the CI systems increased a lot. Um, a typical uh, setup for this was, uh, for example, a Jenkins Multimaster setup with many build slaves. But we are also an early adopter of Zool, of using Zool uh, outside of the OpenStack ecosystem. So for certain smaller projects, we already started uh, more than four years ago uh, to use Zool on our private cloud. Uh, and we also were among the first users uh, that switched to Zool v3 even before it was released. So now we are developing the software of uh, the uh, of future cars, and for this we have to drive many uh, huge projects in parallel. Um, this also requires cooperation of many uh, international teams and suppliers, um, and this also covers onboard software as well as offboard software. Uh, just one example is autonomous driving. So the Development of autonomous driving is a huge effort and also requires a very complex software stack, and this will going to be one of the largest challenges uh, in the automotive software development uh, since the beginning. Um, so uh, also safety and security is obviously one of the most important things uh, with the, uh, these kinds of projects, and thus we also need an excessive amount of simulation. So, for example, it is not, not, uh, not sufficient to just run unit tests, system tests, and manual test drives, but we need to simulate millions and millions of kilometers to ensure that uh, also we have enough uh, testing uh, done. Um, 
running the CI system for such kind of projects is extremely challenging, and so we have a large need of a large-scale CI system. And we chose Zool to do that, to drive that. Um, Zool is already in use by several larger projects and by international development teams and partners. And one of uh, the features that are most important to us is that Zool scales horizontally with its uh, resources. Uh, so uh, while, the, while our, our projects grow, we can add more cloud resources to the CI system and then can technically scale the CI system to, uh, to fulfill more, uh, the requirements for more developers. But in my eyes, as a software developer, this is not the most important feature of Zool. The most important feature of Zool is, uh, like Monty also said, uh, the automatic gating feature functionality of Zool. So um, I think this is key. This is the key to not just scale the available computing resources, but also to scale the development teams themselves. So. Um, Consider without gating when uh, the development teams grow. So there's a widespread uh, process of stop and fix if, if the build is, uh, is not working, if the build is red. Um, when the uh, teams grow, there's uh, is going to be a major problem for the scalability of the teams. Uh, and I've seen many projects, larger projects, that then tend to just uh, merge their new features to get their features done quickly. Um, but then that would require having regular um, fix the build days or even weeks. And that is going to be a problem. Uh, so with the automated gating of Zool, you can prevent uh, fixing, uh, breaking the build up front. And so um, this can dramatically improve the software development process itself. And further, um, Zool is a great open source project and with a very helpful community, and we are very proud of uh, being an active member of that. So um, if you're interested in hearing more about how we run Zool at BMW, um, then join us at uh, the breakout session later today at 1.40. Thank you very much.